Hi, I'm Elaine. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com and welcome to episode 3 of 12 in my Countdown to Christmas series, published every Wednesday up until the 6th of December 2017. Now, today I'm featuring this bundle called Seasonal Chums. You'll find it on page 47 of the Autumn Winter Catalogue. It has a coordinating die called Seasonal Tags, which, if you purchase it together, will save you 10%. Now, the Seasonal Chums is a clear mount stamp. I've got mine in clear mount, um, but it also comes in wood mount. This is the card we'll be making. Other stamp set which is similar to this, this does actually make the front and back of a tag. There are 10 dies in the set. These dies um, die cut the images, the front and, both front and back, and then you fold it over to create a tab. So there's one for the snowman, one for the reindeer, and one for the pumpkin. And then there are three <clears throat> dies with a Christmas theme. That's the tree and the two snowflakes, two for Halloween, the bat and the spider's web, a, a leaf for an autumnal feel and then just a little scallop tag here. Having said all that, we won't actually be using the uh, seasonal tags framelit dies but we'll be using the stitch shaped framelit dies and we're using the second largest circle to die cut a whisper white circle from whisper white scrap cardstock. The other cardstock you need is a um, cherry cobbler. This has been cut at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths and it's been scored in the middle with the long side on top at four and one eighth inches. In metric that will be 21 centimeters by 14.9 centimeters, long side on top score at 10.5 centimeters. The crumb cake layer is cut at three and three quarters by five and a half that's 9.5 by 14 centimetres, um, as well as the Whisper White for the inside of the card. I'm also going to be using the Christmas Quilt stamp set because I want this little greeting. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. The Holly Textured Impressions Embossing Folder, which you'll find on page 210 of the annual catalogue but don't worry I'll have a list of all the supplies in the show more section below this video at the end. We need some burlap ribbon this is 5 8 inches in width and we'll need about uh, 13 inches which is 34 centimeters long. The things I'm using are real red crumb cake, chocolate chip and daffodil delight as well as the Tuxedo Black Memento ink and Cherry Cobbler and a blender pen. Subtles marker from the Subtles range in Soft Sky. Some metallic shapes. Uh, this is the gold one. Big Shot and Magnetic Platform. Bring in the Big Shot Platform uh, without the thin die adapter. Your base uh, um, embossing plate sandwich your cardstock in between the textured embossing folder with the logo on the up top top cutting plate and then run it through the big shot I'll do that off camera I'll set that aside and we'll stamp the uh, little reindeer onto the scrap piece of uh, whisper white cardstock. I only want um, the front of the reindeer and not the back so I've mounted it on a smaller block then I'll put my thumb over the over the other reindeer and only ink up this the front facing one and then just stamp I could have been brave and just chopped that in half to make life easier but I haven't done that this time I'm going to squeeze the uh, lid of my ink pad to um, get some ink onto the lid and then use my blender pen to start colouring in the reindeer. 
and I'm working in little circular motions. Changing to chocolate chip. <clears throat> now I'm going to darker ink, so <clears throat> there's no re need to uh, clean the tip of my blender pen. Changing to real red. This time I really do need to clean the brush properly. <clears throat> so I'm just going to scribble on this scratch piece of paper until there's no more colour coming out. And then just colour the bow. Switch to Daffodil Delight and just colour in the bell. Back with a crumb cake just to ground the little reindeer. Then I'm going to use the brush end of my soft sky marker to run an outline as close as I can to make the little reindeer pop. Now I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas which is right here onto the top end. Oh, I've done him upside down. Never mind. And I've forgotten I've changed the colour of the card so I really should have painted his bow in a cherry cobbler. So I'll go back and do that. Bring my magnetic platform in, base cutting plate, the second largest circle framelits die, top cutting plate and then I'll go and run that through the big shot and I'll be back. So I've die cut my reindeer and now I'm just going to make a little label with uh, the Merry Christmas. Just stamp greeting, have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Gather all the elements for our card and now we're ready to assemble it. Tumble on the back of the card insert. Tumble on the back of the embossed crumb cake piece. And that's stuck on at an angle. Fast fuse on the back of the little reindeer and we're going to stick the ribbon on the back, fold it over ribbon scissors to trim it off Dimensionals on the back so that will anchor the ribbon down. Pop that on the card. bone folder and curl it a little bit. And stick that on there. I think that might be a bit too long so I'm going to trim off a little bit more. Oop, wrong scissors. Mm -hmm. 
and the final touch a little star on there I've changed the position of Merry Christmas to there so it will match up with this one anyway there you have it I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and if you like it do give me a thumbs up I'll be ever so grateful and I'll even be more grateful if you subscribe or share on Facebook if you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the Show More section with direct links to my online store. They'll also be listed on my blog here at blog.stampwithelaine.com. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye!